immediately. They're still after me. Who is that? Fates. Destiny. Whoever calls the shots. Let him be born healthy, they said. But he won't need a mother, so we'll grab her off before he's two years old. And then they decided I didn't need a father, so they recalled him. So let him become a biologist. Sure, why not? Not for long. And they explode that lab and take his eyes. So I became a teacher. A blind teacher, but still a teacher. Now I've got this ball of microbes spreading inside of me. And so what's next? A wheelchair? Of course not. What kind of risk is involved? There's always a risk. You know that. Odds, doctor. I want to hear odds. 50-50? Terrific. Why me? Why me? Feeling sorry for yourself isn't going to help. I know. I know. When I lost my sight, I spent six months swimming in self-pity. And then I discovered a whole new world out there in the darkness. Simple things. Things that I'd taken for granted or hadn't even noticed before. The smell of bacon frying. The sound of children's laughter. The taste of a ripe tomato. And the warm, soft touch of my wife's face when she's sleeping. You don't need eyes to feel love. The mind doesn't need a light to touch a star. I want to live, Doctor. So, let's get on with it.